Hi there, I'm Toy Thomas and I am here to share with you today a little article that I've written but I've also decided to turn into a video. And if you saw the title, don't get upset. Uh, this is about mm, kind of an idea that I have where I think that authors aren't actually camera shy, they're just snobs. Hashtag excuses. I am not a hashtagging type person, let me just go ahead and say that. I just did that for search results. Um, now before I get started, don't um, start attacking me just yet. Just hear me out, hear what I have to say. Um, if you're an author out there and you're like a bestseller, this message is not for you. This is for, um, you know, authors are just kind of beginning, getting started, especially like indie authors like me. And um, if you, you know, hear my spill and still don't like what I have to say, then go ahead and attack. That's apparently the thing people do now online. So the first thing um, I want to just come out and say that I've, you know, been blogging and trying to do this YouTube thing for about two years now and um, I've been dropping the ball a little bit but every now and then I come out with something new and um, I've been trying to get authors to do video interviews and it's like <laughs> unheard of um, I guess by you know authors that haven't like made it yet um, there are plenty of authors out there who I'm sure make a living writing but you don't hear about them in the news, you know, there, there may not be New York Times bestsellers, you know what I mean? And then there's, you know, little small indie authors like me. And here are the excuses that I get most of the time from authors when I ask them to do a video interview. Number one, I'm camera shy or I don't have the look for video. <clears throat> I know I'm not a dog, <laughs> but I'm also not a supermodel. Um, you know, I'm not a glamorous, fashionable type person, but um, I'm, you know, I am who I am, so I'm not afraid to put my face out there for people, and um, so that's one excuse. Number two, people don't want to see me, or they don't want to see author video interviews, and I'm going to get back to that. Number three, I'm not tech savvy enough to do that. I can't do that. How would you even do that? So those are the main three things that I hear, you know, a lot of times. And, you know, some of that very well may be true, but then I always want to pose the following three questions. Number one, if Good Morning America called you up right now and said, hey, we heard you wrote a book, would you mind coming on to our show? Would you still be camera shy then? Would you still not have the look for video? Next, number two, have you ever seen an author interview on TV? I know I have. Have you ever seen an author appear on like a talk show or something? I know I have. So people do see author interviews. And number three, if Ellen or Steve Harvey or Dr. Phil, whatever floats your boat, if they called you up and said, hey, can you Skype into my show tomorrow so that you can talk to our audience? Do you think maybe you would figure out a way to make that happen? Could you work the technology out enough to appear on that show? Well, I, I think if your answer to those questions were no, then you're right and I'm wrong. Authors really are camera shy and they're not snobs and I'm full of it. But if you answered yes to any of those questions, well, hmm, the healing can begin. <laughs> See, I have this theory that a lot of authors are just kind of waiting for like this big major break. You know, someone's going to write an incredible review about their book, their sales are going to zoom, and then people are just going to start calling them up. We want you on the Today Show, we want you on this show, and it's just going to happen. And maybe for some it will. But the likeliness of it happening for everybody is, you know, it's small, you know. So I'm thinking authors got to stop being such snobs and start taking some chances. So here are the top reasons why I think authors should do video interviews on small time YouTube channels like mine. Number one, experience. So let's say your book or books do like blow up, you're on the bestsellers list, interviews are going to follow. So why not go ahead and get some practice with the, you know, a YouTuber? 
Number two, cross promotion. You can tap into someone else's audience also while exposing yourself to a potentially new audience. Yeah. And then three, it's something, it's a you know a vital piece that you can add to your media slash marketing kit. I mean, you authors out there, if you don't already have a media kit, you really need to stop what you're doing and make one or get one right now. This video interview, once it's aired and you know you've got the little link, you can add that to your media kit to send out to people along with your press releases to help build up buzz about you. The next thing, number four. I call connecting. Whether people believe it or not, visual media connects people. There's all kinds of movements that are happening because of video and not just on YouTube, other video platforms as well, you know, Facebook, Vimeo, but video, visual media, it really does connect people. You know, not every YouTube or, you know, video has to be some viral sensation, but the potential is always there. And people are always searching for something. And believe it or not, there are readers on YouTube. Number five, relating to the masses. We got to help change this kind of lesser human persona that a lot of people are beginning to, um, develop about authors. It's, it's kind of a consensus now that authors are either rock stars like Stephen King or they're these little hermits like any author you've never heard of. And we know that that's just not true so this would be a perfect opportunity to show the world that authors are real relatable people with something to offer. And then um, last thing is that it can totally boost your appeal. Go. Th this is going back to number two the, or is it number one? I forget, but the whole looks issue. Believe it or not, people are more drawn to confidence than they are looks. A person can, you know, be just an average person, but if they exude confidence, it makes them more attractive, it makes them more appealing. By appearing in a video interview, you're telling people, look at me. And you're not doing it like some shy child in a corner longing for attention and affection. You're doing it like a successful author who's proud and passionate about their work. And this last little thing is just kind of a bonus that I'm throwing in. I know for me personally, when I do a video interview, I try to make it fun. You know, it's an experience. It's not just about promoting and if the author is really into the vibe it can be really great and like I said that's just for me and I'm sure other youtubers out there so that's it that's my whole spiel that's the point I wanted to make so maybe I'm full of it maybe I'm not you decide and the thing is I'm not the only youtuber out there if you don't like me connect with someone else or start your own YouTube channel I just think that authors are missing out on an opportunity to do these video interviews for all the wrong reasons. And you know, if you're not ready to step in front of a camera, try something else, break out of the mold, break out of the mundane promotions that everyone else is doing and try to do something original, creative and fun. So um, that's it. I just wanted to say that this, you know, the content of this post was not meant to be hurtful or accusatory in any way. Um, I'm well aware that there are actually people who suffer from anxiety. People are state, have stage fright or, you know, are camera shy. And, and that's not really who I'm, you know, targeting with this video. I did use a kind of an, an emotional device to get a reaction by calling authors snobs. And I do think a lot of them are. Um, but this isn't for the ones who really do, you know, struggle with that. Um, this is just for those who are just afraid to kind of step out of their boundaries and expand and try something different. So if you'd like to connect with me, um, look around for the links and um, I would love to hear from you. And if you don't want to connect with me, that's fine too. Um, but whether you like or don't like this, please share it with others, start a conversation. I'd love to see what people have to say. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this. And like always, I am Toy Thomas and I believe that authors are just important to the world of entertainment as music groups and movie stars. See ya!